Hello everyone, today I am going to be reviewing the Carnival Cup Rip Kutchgonski. This version of him was released in the T-Rock line, which is called the Transcontinental Race of Champions. And it's a series where World Grand Prix racers, ho World Grand Prix racers host different racing events from around the world. There were six races for the T-Rock series. The host of the race for the Carnival Cup race was Carlo Beloso. And the description right here reads, While in Rio for Carnival, the T-Rock racers visit an abandoned racetrack. The legendary course is covered with debris, but the racers never back away from a challenge and put the pedal to the metal for a danger filled race on the ghost track. And the, yeah, that was the description. And Rip Kuchgonski was released in Wave 2 with Nigel, Lewis, Max, and Miguel. And yeah, that was his release in the Carnival Cup line. And the other five races. Shu Tadarogi hosts the Neon one, Vitaly Petrov hosts the Ice one, Lightning McQueen hosts the Silver one, Matt Schnell hosts the Carbon one, and Raul hosts the Rally one. But that race was uh, only for the magazines. There weren't any diecasts in there, sadly. But there was for the other T Rock races. So now let's talk about the packaging. And. Yes, I do have a Carnival Cup Rip Clutch Gonski in, in the package. I actually have two of him. I have one uh, out of the packaging and one in the packaging still. And I am going to keep this one in the package since that one is a very rare car now. And yeah, the packaging looks really cool. It has this awesome artwork and the... Uh, Yellow, green, blue, and white background looks really cool. And the green, gold, and blue around the dark blue name tag and the Carnival Cup logo. And I like that the blister has the checkered flag shaped on it. And on the back, it has the description, the T Rock logo, and all those cool looking colors in the back. And, yeah. And, that's all for the packaging. So, now let's review this diecast. He has a little bit of a different orange color compared to the normal rip. The normal one had a more yellow color. This one right here had more of a orange. The red looks the same, but the green is different. The no normal rip right here has a dark green, whereas this carnival one has a way lighter green. The expression is the same. The headlights are the same, and yeah, a lot of stuff are different on this one. So, as you can see, the carnival rip has the green stripe on the roof. And there's red right here. And here's what it looks like right here on the regular one. You can see that it, the red is still there, but some of it was now green. And it is still textured right here, just like the regular one. And the green triangle is now a green stripe right here. He also has the Republic of New Rindio right here, and it has the RC, which means Rip Kutchgonski. He has the Carnival Cup logo on here, and he has black right here on the side of his uh, um, wheel guards or his headlights. And I like how and the tires look, and it looks really cool. He has two different color tires. He has green on this side, and yellow on the other. And he, of course, his rims are 
gray. And the tires look awesome. And he has two different colors. And also, Rip is not the only Carnival Cup car to have two different colored tires. Raul Saru was also the other one with the two colored tires. Raul has it on the front and on the back. He has two red tires in the front and two blue tires in the back. And for Rip, it's sideways instead. And I like that they did that. It looks really cool. Alright. And also, you can see that his stripe right here is reflected. You can see it's really awesome looking. And there's the green and red stripes. Same as the classic regular Rip. And he still has that silver circle right here. It's still there. He has the T-Rock logos right here. There's black right here. And the regular one has it red. And the other side is black. And yeah, on this side, on the regular one, it was green. He has this black detail, this black stripe. And he has the number 10 reflected, and his last name, Kutchkonski, right here. Same on the other side. And the stripes are the same like the regular one. His spoiler's different, and he has glitter on it. Number 10 right here on the spoiler and the Carnival Cup logo. And the regular one had the spoiler green with red on it. The carnival one had all of the spoiler green. And the back, you can see that the back right here is different. The regular rip, um, actually, never mind. It's the same, but the spoiler, uh, the back of the spoiler is different. And, of course, the tires are different. And... Yeah, so this is all for the review of the Carnival Rip Kuchgonski, and here's a comparison with the classic regular Rip. And by the way, he doesn't have the World Grand Prix or all in all logos on the Carnival one, which would make sense since the World Grand Prix racers don't use all in all anymore. But I don't know why Raul Sarul has the Power by all in all logo, because he does not use all in all anymore. And yeah, lucky for Rip, he doesn't have those logos. And the other racers don't have those logos. So, yeah. Hopefully, the hopefully the yeah. Hopefully, the Jeff Corvette one will not have the all in all logo. Or, but yeah. Okay, here's the Ice Racer rip right here. And no, Mattel did not make the Neon Racer or the Silver Racer rip, unfortunately. The Silver one was cancelled, and Mattel never even planned to release the Neon one, unfortunately. But they did make the Carbon one, and he looks really cool. And this one actually also has two different colored tires. He has green rims on this side, and then red on this side. And I like how they're mixing up the colors for Rip on this one and this one. It looks really cool. And I also have the Hyder Wheels Rip right here. Because he has the color tires. And also, he was one of the first Hyder Wheels to be released in, when the series made its debut in 2013. And... Yeah, this is one of the first Hydra Wheels in the Telus release, and he looks really cool. And yes, he still works. And yeah, and here are all the T-Rock Rip Kuchgonskis and Mattel did. 
and here's the normal one. And let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite version of him. And also let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite T Rock race. And yeah, so that's all for this video, guys. So if you like to, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you on the review on Carnival Jeff Corvette. So that's all for this video, guys. So anyways, guys, bye now.